Okay, so um, let's try this one. Um, and it's just, this one, like I was saying, it just wants you to use common sense, okay? That's all it's saying. It's saying, okay, if nickel sulfate is green, okay, so let's pretend. So what we've got here, so is uh, nickel 2 sulfate. So we're just, so NiSO4. Okay, so that's nickel 2 sulfate. So that's green. So what we've got here is two, um, what do you say, uh, overhead projector sheet um, cutouts of little pretend ions, okay? That's uh, nickel sulfate. This one says it's sodium sulfate. And this one says it's sodium chloride. Okay. So you know that sodium chloride, oh, okay, so let's read the question, I guess. It says, so nickel sulfate is green, sodium sulfate is colorless, and sodium chloride is colorless. What color would you predict for nickel chloride? Okay, so what you're saying here is, okay, I know that sodium chloride is composed of these two ions, sodium plus and chlorine or chloride minus, okay? So if this thing is colorless, then both of those ions must be colorless, okay? So that's what we have here, Na plus ion and a Cl minus ion, okay? Both colorless. Okay? It also says that sodium sulfate is colorless, and we know that sodium is, well, so let's write that down, colorless. So we know already is sodium, without even looking at that, is sodium colorless or not? Mm -hmm. It's colorless, right? So, if sodium's colorless and the whole compound is colorless, then sulfate must be what? Colorless, colorless too, okay? So, we've got this, colorless, 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 colorless. Nickel sulfate, okay? So that's composed, or nickel 2 sulfate, we should say. That's composed of two ions, the nickel 2 plus ion and the sulfate. Ion. What do we know about the sulfate ion already? It's colorless, right? And the whole compound is green, right? So, do you think that green color is coming from the sulfate? No, it's actually, we've got it here, right? The sulfate is colorless, okay? It's the nickel 2 plus that's um, the green. In fact, what you want to remember is that a lot of these transition metals, because they've got unpaired electrons, they absorb light, okay? And so they make these kind of color, colorful compounds. Remember when we were doing copper sulfate last week? It was blue. Copper compounds are blue because copper's got these unpaired electrons that absorb, um, uh, you know, certain wavelengths of light. Well, anyways, let's finish this problem off, right? So we've got our last compound here, and we don't know. Oh, uh, I, I guess I shouldn't put that up, it asks us, what is the color, right, of nickel 2 chloride, right? So, NiCl2. So, what is the color of that, right? So, we know the Cl minus is what? Colorless, right? But the nickel 2 plus, what color did we figure that out to be? Green. So we would expect this compound to be what? Green. And when we put it up, <laughs> clearly <laughs> it's green. <laughs> clearly from my cutouts of <laughs> these things. So does that, does that help you out? So like uh, you could do these kinds of things maybe if you had uh, yellow and blue or something like that and then that would make green. So it's just this kind of... You so want to, if you have two and one has color and one is colorless, the one with color will always dominate? That's the one that you're going to see, because the other one you don't see, because it doesn't absorb light. Yeah. So um, things like this, ionic compounds that absorb light, usually have a transition metal in them. And it's the transition metal that's usually the light absorbing thing. Okay. I can't really think of too many that aren't, you know, but usually it's that. Okay. Some of them will have like these weird you know, anions that have a lot of pi bonds, you know, and like, um, 
Another transition metal uh, compound that you know is like uh, hemoglobin, right? It's red, you know? So, it, you know, it's like that iron that we made, uh, the iron compound, um, uh, iron uh, thiocyanate, you know what I'm saying? And it was that red color, you know? So all of these, a lot, not all I shouldn't say, but a lot of these transition metals have potassium permanganate is purple. I don't know if you remember, we use that stuff. But, uh, copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate that we dehydrated last week. You know, that was blue, you know? So, anyways, are we cool? Are there any questions?